so with this problem so this is the string matching an array problem and if you've read it um, I suggest you go and read it and come back to this video so I'm gonna go straight to it so what the problem is essentially saying is that you're going to loop through each each character and if a character I mean you're going to loop through each word and if a word is a substring so if, if a word fits in another word you add it to a list and then you return that list so for example you have these words mass as hero and superhero um, and as you can see mass as an a and an s and an a and an s is in the words array so since this word is in as is in mass you add s to the array to the list i mean and the same goes with um hero um superhero hero fits in superhero so you add hero to the array and then you return hero and Leet code it's the same problem. Leet code et et is in leet code, so you put et in the array and etc etc. So I looked at this problem and I said to my and the first thing that came to mind is that you're going to have to compare each word to each word. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're at the word mass, you're going to want to have to check if mass fits in as in the second index and you want to get a check if it fits in the third index etc etc and if you're at as you're going to want to check if it fits into mass hero or superhero so you're gonna to have to compare every single word um, in the array so which means you're gonna to have to have two loops and the way I approach this is let's say you're at mass and to make the the algorithm more efficient if the word is if the word is equal so so you're gonna have a loop so you're gonna have an outer loop and then you're gonna have an inner loop and the outer loop is going to stay at the current index so in this example mass it's going to stay at mass and then the second loop is going to loop through every single character every single string in the array and if a word's length is greater than if if I, Wait, if words i, if words i's dot length is greater than or equals to words j dot length, then you continue, which means you skip the entire loop. Um, the reason for this is, let's say you're at mass, and then you go to as. If mass is greater than that, or equals to this, that means mass cannot be an as. Um, so it cannot be a substring of as, because mass is greater than as. Um, if you get what I mean. So, but if that's not the case, so for example, let's say you're at as, and then you're looping, th let's say you're at as now in the outer loop. So you're going to loop, so the inner loop will start at mass, and since that is not greater than, since mass is not, um, since as is not greater than or equals to mass, you're going to um, check if the word you're going to check if j words j which is the inner loop contains words i which is the outer loop and if that's the case you add you add um words i to the list so you add the outer the outer element to the to the list and then you're going to break the reason you do this is because you don't want to have duplicates you only want to add um, add the word to the list once. So what I mean by this is, um, let's say you have mass, and you have another word, um, mass spelt with two s's. So you have like mass spelt with like three s's. I mean, if as is going to be added to the list once mass is found. But if it finds if it finds another mass which is M A S S, as does fit into that, and it's going to add it to the list again, um, which would make it a duplicate. But you wanna you don't want duplicates. You only want it to have 
want it to be added once so you just break out of the loop and then you're going to repeat it and then the loops going to repeat this for every single string uh, for every single word in the array and then you're going to return the list and then that's how the solution is going to be found so I hope that was helpful to anyone um, yeah that's the problem oh yeah and I need to prove that it actually works so I'll just submit it oh my gosh she's long and there you go it's pretty quick um, 3ms and memory usage pretty low I guess so good